Welcome everybody to another fantastic episode of Super Shares powered by Q. My name is Joe Marquez, Director of Academic Innovation for Q, and we are so excited this week. This is our Super Bowl. This is our big gathering. This is our family reunion. This is Spring Q Week. We are so excited beyond words explaining how happy we are to be able to be back in Palm Springs and to commiserate and communicate and collaborate and celebrate together. In fact, this year's Spring Q Conference, the theme is celebrating community, right? Like community, but with Q at the front, because we are a community of educators who are willing to do every, anything and everything for our students and to advance what we know is great pedagogical practices in the classroom. And one of the things that we love to do at Q is to bring you the biggest and brightest, not only minds in education, but companies that are out there that have some amazing features and amazing tools that will save you time and it just advance everything going on in your classroom. So we have a very special guest for this episode today. I'm gonna bring him on in a second, but I really want you to understand how excited we are for this week at Spring Q. We have three amazing days that we're gonna be spending together in Palm Springs, and I cannot wait to see you in person. On Thursday, we have Dee Lanier, who is kicking off our with our keynote uh, on lessons that he's learned from his hip hop heroes. It's gonna be an amazing message. And the newly minted Dr. Uh, Sadal Patel, she is amazing. Just got her doctorate this past week. She's gonna be keynoting on Friday night. And do not forget, Back by popular demand, Saturday, Raturday, the community celebration of fun and games that we are together. No worries. If you are not registered, you can still register today. So jump on over to springq.org and get that registration taken care of. All right. Now we are here to the, the ultimate reason that we do a super share is to share, to share something super. And I am going to bring on an individual who told me a little bit about this tool called tutor.com. And you know what? I'm going to let Ed talk about it. Ed, Ed, welcome. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for being here, my friend. As you can tell, I'm super excited, right? Spring Q is happening this week. It's happening this coming Thursday. And you're going to be there. Tutor's going to be there. Uh, tell us, Ed, a little bit about yourself and a little bit about tutor.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Joe. It is a real pleasure to be here. We're so excited uh, to participate in this Q week and we can't wait to meet you. But my name is Ed Seha. I serve as the Western Regional Director at Tutor.com. And I think uh, I've been here for almost 13 years. And I think I have the coolest job in the world because we get to help students uh, of all ages, really help them improve their academic standing, help them uh, get academic support when they need it, whether it's for a test or they just need help with their homework, whatever it might be. It's just incredible to be a part of um, a company like tutor.com where we can help students and eventually get them into college and the college that they want. So yeah, it's really exciting to be here. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, you know, I've I've seen tutor.com in action. I've I've really like we did a super share last year uh, on tutor.com and it was great. But let's let's talk to our audience as if they've never heard of tutor.com before. What what is tutor.com and, and and what are some of the, of the benefits of having this amazing tool on uh, on a school campus? Well, let me tell you, Joe, uh, I got a couple slides I'd like to share with you and just to kind of give you a really brief overview of what tutor.com is and and how it works you know we are an online academic tutoring service um, we support students in all grades whether they're all the way from k through 12. Um, we support over 200 subjects so really any subject that they need help with is where we can help them and what really um, some of the services that we support including academic subjects is we have a drop-off essay service so think about that. If you're a student who has an essay that they have to do, and let's say it's due next week, if you have a draft of it, you can send it to us. And within 12 hours, we're going to give you like this detailed feedback on that essay to really help improve, um, improve, improve the results of that essay. What's cool about tutor.com is we have the ability to work with students either using voice or chat. So you can actually talk to that tutor who's a real person and you can talk to them. So for let's say younger students, or maybe you're an English, English learner uh, and you prefer to communicate via voice to that tutor, 
you have that option and you can use that whenever you'd like. Um, I think our, our, our vetting process for tutors, which I won't go into too much detail, is clearly the most rigorous um, in online tutoring, I believe. Um, what's really cool about tutor.com is that um, we are a service of the Princeton Review. So there are significant resources built into tutor.com that are part of the Princeton Review. For example, we have something called SAT or ACT Essentials, which means that students can literally take a Princeton Review test prep course within tutor.com. It's got full length practice tests. It's got like about 90 video lessons per test. Every lesson has a drill behind it. So just like those, uh, just like a tutor.com course, it's that you would take um, at one of our sites or online, this is what's built into tutor.com. And there's, there's several other things. We also will provide schools and districts with significant data and analytics on how their students are using it when they're using it. And we really work with them to help them build their usage and understand how the service can go above and beyond to help all of their students achieve their goals. So that's just a little bit of an overview uh, of what we do. Well, you know, I, I love this, but you know, looking at this, um, this slide right here, it, it looks like Tutor performs a lot of different services uh, to school districts, to teachers, to students. And when you start to add all these different tools Ease of use can suffer with that. Can you can you talk a little bit about how uh, how easy it is to use this? Because Ed, you you mentioned um, the, the idea of of chat. Like whenever I'm thinking of getting help off of a website with chat, I'm thinking of like there's a chat bot, right? And you're talking to it about you know this is what I need help with, and then it comes back and says, "Do you mean this?" You're like, "No, I don't mean that." Like, and but you're saying it's an actual person. How is the ease of use in the yeah. classroom setting? How would you say that ease of use is for students and teachers? Let me tell you, Joe, it is, we support ease of use in really two basic ways. When we partner with a school or with a, um, with a district, number one, we're gonna integrate with their learning management system to give all students access to it. So they don't have to go somewhere else outside to, uh, and put another username and password. It's in their LMS. It's in their learning management system. So that's the ease of access. Um, they can just they can just if they're working, let's say in their in their LMS and they're doing a math problem, they don't understand, um, you know, how to maybe how to do it or they need some clarification, whatever it might be. They just click on the tutor.com, um, you know, logo, and it's gonna they're gonna go right to it. And then when you access tutor.com, students literally have to just do a couple clicks. They have to tell us what topic. Um, what subject, what the problem is that they want to discuss with us, hit connect. And then literally in under a minute, you're going to be connected to a, a real tutor, a live person who can help you one-on-one -on -one for as long as you need. So the ease of use is really important for us. You know, we live in an on-demand world. So we want to make sure when students access a tutor on demand that they're available, they're available quickly and that they can work with them quite easily. Um, the technology is amazing, but it's very simple to use uh, and students gravitate to it right away. And once they try it, uh, I think they get hooked because they tend to use it over and over again. So, so Ed, you're telling me that a student can be working in class and if, if they get stuck on something or, or they, they need extra help, they don't have to go and ask the teacher to get them a tutor and, 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 and go through that process for them. Like the students right from their own machine can recognize I need extra help. They see that tutor button, they click on it, and within a minute, they have somebody with that expertise ready and willing to help them for as long as necessary. Is that what you're saying that that that, that happens here? Yes, Joe, that's correct. And as a matter of fact, um, we're, that tutor.com is available to students 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 361 days a year. So it doesn't matter if it's during the school day or after. Some of our, our peak times, for example, are Thursday nights because we know that a lot of K-12 students have quizzes or tests the next day. Another uh, busy time for us is Sunday evenings because we know the students get typically will get homework over the weekend and it's due on Monday and they got to, you know, they're scrambling to get it done on Sunday evening. So we know that that's a uh, busy time. So we'll, we'll staff accordingly. But yeah, it's accessible anytime they want. So it's, it's really an extension of the classroom. It's really something that students can utilize whenever they need it. You know, I, 
I, I have to tell you, I love that fact. And I love the fact that you said it's available 24 hours a day because students, um, they have they have different lives outside of school. Right. Uh, some students have to go home and, and they, they're the ones that cook the dinner. They're the ones that take okay. care of their brothers and sisters. Right. And they may not be able to get to their homework until 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. So knowing that they have somebody, if they're stuck, that they can just get on their device and get that help. I think that's absolutely amazing. It really boils down to equity and access for our students at home. And they don't have to have that burden of struggling and then coming to school with still with those questions of, I don't know how to do this. They can get that help at home from an expert so that they can come to class ready and confident to participate in the lesson because they got the help from tutor.com. Is, is that what you're saying? Like that? Absolutely. Home Absolutely, Joe. It's interesting because a lot of schools, now that we're back in person, a lot of schools are offering, you know, support after school that's in person with maybe teachers or other kinds of tutors. But you're right. Not all students are able to access that service because, you know, maybe they have to maybe they're involved in sports or activities. They have to work. Maybe they have to take care of siblings. They can't access that that tutor. So with tutor.com, it really provides this access around the clock whenever they need it. Um, and it's, it's just it's just an incredible um, device. It's an incredible service because it's helping students when they need help. Um, the other thing is we know that students now that we're post kind of post pandemic, we're not in the virtual learning world anymore. A lot of students really were set back by that. They didn't do, they weren't as successful, um, you know, during distance learning as we thought they would be. So therefore this is a great way for kids to catch up. If they have a question, if they are stuck somewhere at any time of the day, we're there for them to help them and work with them. And in addition to that, every session that we conduct with uh, between your students and a tutor gets recorded. So with, with that recording, the student is able to access that recording whenever they want. So if they had a session today and then they weren't, you know, uh, next week they have a, a quiz and they, they think, oh gosh, what was that thing that tutor taught me? They can just go to the, go to their previous sessions, play it again, and they're, and they're ready to go. So it's, it's just really cool the things that we can do to support students. And, and that's the world our students live in, right? The the yeah. archiving of media to be able to go back and review, having that ability, it, it's it's like second nature to them, right? That's right. Uh, that's right. Because they have that video on demand aspect of it. Now, Ed, I, I want to ask you about this because there's a lot of tools out there that that teach. Oh, I, I like that tool, and they there's like you know, they can go online and try it. Um, but but if a teacher wants to try Tutor.com, if if they want to get this for their campus, they let's say they come to Spring Q. And, and they, 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 they go to a, a tutor session, which we'll talk about in a minute, or they go to the tutor booth and they really like it. How do they go about getting access to tutor.com for their students in their classroom, in their school, in their district, in their county? How do they go about doing that um, so that they can give their students this 24-7 tutoring experience? That's a great question. And the way to do that is really quite simple. As a teacher, if you see that this is a tool that would be beneficial to your students, you know, come talk to us. Number one, we'll be at booth number 604. I mean, come see us whenever you'd like. Um, let, me, let me move that slide along here real quick. Um, we'll, be, we'll be at uh, booth 604 if you have any questions, and we'd love to share with you and talk to you. But really, the way to do it is to, you know, contact your administrator or, you know, at your principal or your administrator at the district level. And we're more than happy to take it from there. We can create a program uh, at the either at the district level or at the school site where all of your students have access to tutor.com. The best way to, to, um, uh, to provide tutor.com is to provide it to all students so that all students have access to tutoring whenever they need it. So it's very simple. And we'd love to have that discussion with you um, at booth 604 during Q. We're going to be there and we're, we're just excited to see you. And we hope that you come by and visit us. No, I, 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 you, you were talking a little bit earlier that uh, administrators have access to like the data from uh, the the use of tutor.com on on campuses, and I know data is very important because you know, Ed, to be completely honest, there's a lot of times that districts put money forth uh, to to buy a product or to buy to buy a service, um, and they don't know if it's being used. So when the cycle comes up again to renew, they don't know if they, they should or not, right? 
does tutor.com have the analytics of use and how that it's being used so that if administrators like I like this, I see it is being used, they they have that data to present to the district and say we would like to renew this. It's working. The students are gaining. We would like to renew this. Con is there something like that available to administrators and teachers? Absolutely, Joe. It's a great point. Um, we live in a data-driven world, and Tutor.com uh, has a lot of transparency. We want to provide as much data and analytics to our district partners as possible. And we do that in different ways. Number one, uh, at the school site and at the district level, we will have provide access to what we call a client portal. This client portal is very simple to use. It's very easy. And it allows you to, number one, if you look on the screen there, you'll see uh, where it says 24-7 access to client portal. You'll see a lot of little blue boxes. That gives you, a, a, I call it a flash report. It just kind of shows you, um, you know, fast facts about where you're at in the program, how many sessions, how many hours, et cetera. You can also pull the data reports, which are very simple to use. You can actually drill down in these reports and see the transcripts of sessions that your students have had. So it's really trans, it's about as transparent as you can get. In addition to that, um, at the beginning of each month, we will provide the school or district contacts. Uh, we'll email them a monthly usage report, which is which is set up in graph format, and it's going to give you detailed usage. You know, who's using it? When are they using it? What subject are they, are they using? In addition to that, students have access to an uh, an optional survey, and we get you know probably forty to fifty percent participation in these surveys. And we're going to share with you all of the comments made by your students in regards to their experiences with Tutor.com. You know how honest students can be; they're not going to sugarcoat anything. But we get like these amazing quotes from students, and you're going to be able to see what all of your students are thinking and saying about tutor.com. As a matter of fact, last year, um, we had about, we had 95% of students who use tutor.com via the surveys tell us that it helped improve their grades. So if you have a tool that's that's saying 95% of kids um, is it's helping improve their grades, that's a pretty dynamic tool. And then lastly, our tutors are required to, um, to submit a, a survey to us upon completion of every session. And this is a really good indicator for us to identify any potential interventions that might be necessary. So if we come across anything like that, we call them early alerts. We will absolutely notify um, the school site or the district contact, contact right away to let them know that this is what happened during a particular session. So yeah, we believe in transparency. Tutor.com, because of our experience, you know, we've been doing this for 23 years, has significant data available to our district partners. Well, there's a couple things that I think uh, Tutor.com has done that's very smart. And a lot of things, but there's a couple that stand out. One is those student surveys. There's nothing more powerful uh, than to get student feedback on the usage of a tool and if it is actually helping them and is an effective tool to use in education there's nothing more powerful than to show an administrator that student feedback because it's getting drilling down to what we what why we do everything and that's for student experience and expectations and so that's phenomenal i love that the next thing i would have to say that tutor.com does very well um, is the ability to have that extra teacher almost in the classroom, right? We, we know we can't, we can't fund two teachers in every classroom, even though that'd be phenomenal. But tutor.com brings in those extra experts to help the teacher who, if you have like 10 or 15 students who need that extra help and you're trying to work one-on-one -on -one with them, that could be a very daunting task. But if they each have that tutor button, they're getting that help that they need right now when they need it. And the teacher gets kind of that stress kind of gets taken off of them. And we all know teachers, SEL, right? Social emotional uh, yeah. aspect of teaching uh, is very important. And so to have that extra help in the classroom for the teacher, I think that can really uh, help a teacher out uh, in, in that in that emotional state that a lot of us get into when we feel overwhelmed. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a, there's been a teacher shortage. There is a teacher shortage as a result of many things that have happened the past few years. So tutor.com is set up to be an extension of that classroom. 
And what we've seen and what we have found the last couple, three years, um, that the most successful partnerships that we have with school districts are when at least two things are happening. Number one, when teachers encourage students to use it. When they encourage students to use it, it gets used. For example, if you're an English teacher and you have an essay that's due, let's say, a week from now, you encourage your students to say, you say to your students, hey, take your first draft, submit it to tutor.com. And then when you do that, you know, go through the feedback before you submit your final draft. That's going to improve grades. There's no doubt about it. The other thing that's really important, kind of going off to on a tangent a little bit, is number one, staff has to encourage use and, t and parents need to be aware that the service is available to their kids. And when that happens, man, you got mom and dad encouraging kids to use it. That That's like, that's fantastic. Um, how many times during the distance learning world that we all went through did parents have to help their t their kids with homework? And they, they they had troubles. They couldn't do it. I couldn't do it in many cases. So it's, it's really important. So when those two things are happening is really when tutor.com uh, that usage gets really driven up there and it's really exciting and it's really working the way it should be. Yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right that uh, uh, parental awareness of all the tools that a school is subscribing to and how they can help at home are important. But a tool like this, when you have that access, I think that can really help parents because to be honest, a lot of parents will always say, I haven't done that since high school or yeah. I haven't done that since you know so X, Y, Z. And so they don't want to sit there like, I'll, I'll try to learn with you to help you getting an expert in the, in the home can really help parents feel very confident uh, in, in their students' capabilities. And, and I think confidence is key uh, when you're partnering with uh, parents at home. Um, now, now Ed, there is a, a QR code right up down here on the bottom. Can you tell me a little bit about what that QR code does? If, if our viewers scan that right now, Sure, that QR code has some more information about tutor.com, uh, gives you some insight to kind of some of the things that we've also talked about. Um, and it just it just gives you some more information. We'd love to, you know, answer your question. We'd love to have you come by our booth and see us, um, you know, anytime that you want during, during the Q conference. Um, in addition to that, we are also, I also have one of my colleagues, uh, Keisha Halan will be conducting a workshop um, and it, it's going to be on Friday, so a week from today, uh, at just before 2.50 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. And the, the, the title of the workshop is Leveraging K-12 Data to Empower Students and Teachers District-Wide. We kind of talked about data and the importance of it a few minutes ago. Uh, we've got a lot of really solid and great information, insights onto what we're seeing from other school districts across the country. And we can't wait to share them with you because I think this is really valuable and will really help you if you're considering, um, you know, a service like tutor.com for your students. Yeah. And I, so I, I also encourage uh, educators and administrators who are coming to Spring Q, definitely go by booth 604. Take a look at tutor.com in action. It will blow your mind at how fast the tutor will join and uh, just the, the vast array of, uh, of different subjects and, and, and levels of those subjects will be covered. And Ed, I promise to stop by the booth to give you a fist bump and say hello, my friend. It would be great to meet you in person. Uh, and um, all of you listening right now cannot wait to see you in Palm Springs. But Ed, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for sharing the power that is in uh, tutor.com. And I can't wait to see you this week at Spring Q. My pleasure, Joe. It's been a real pleasure, and I'm so excited to see everyone uh, this week. Thank you so much. Take care. Uh, so Ed, Ed's a fantastic guy. You know, before, you know, I, I do a super show, I always like to sit down with my guests and, and, and just talk and get to know them. And Ed is a phenomenal individual with student advancement uh, uh, and, and capabilities in mind. And you, you know that a, a company is a fantastic company when you've been with them for so long. And, and with Ed being with tutor.com and the Princeton Review for 13 years, you know it's got to be a fantastic company. So just make sure you go by booth 604. Uh, give Ed a high five, fist bump, elbow bump, whatever you're most comfortable with. And hey, let him know that you saw him on Super Shares uh, because these are fantastic episodes. We love to bring you the best and the brightest to your home. Um, so definitely keep on watching. But if you will be in Palm Spring this week, uh, please come by and say hello to myself, to Ed, and to all 
the amazing educators who are taking their time and talents to present during this fantastic week of innovation and conversation. So until the next few days when I get to see you in person, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.